Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to have a look at the differences between Revit MEP and Revit Architecture when it comes to lighting. Now, um, we have a very simple room here. Uh, it's just four walls, a ceiling, a floor, and some furniture. So, what we're going to do is have a look at this first of all. So, under the floor plan there, you can see we have a little bit of furniture in here. And under the ceiling plan, we have nothing. So um, what we're going to do first of all is have a look at the lights themselves and how they behave between MEP and architecture. So if we have a look on the ceiling plan here, uh, first thing I'm going to do is pop in a light fixture. So under systems here, uh, I have a lighting fixture. So currently there's nothing loaded. Would you like to load one? Yes. Um, and just scroll down here so we grab lighting. Now we're going to have a look at the architectural first. So under architectural internal, I'm just going to go and grab a fairly standard, um, let's see, what do we got? Another one of those. Suspended linear. Okay. Um, one or two. So let's double click on that and bring it in. So I'll bring this in, click on it, and it happily goes in. Now, ooh, got a tube in there. Get rid of that. Um, so here it is. And we'll see there, associated with level zero, all that kind of stuff, all fantastic, but no electrical data. If I click on edit type, we will see that we do have um, information in relation to its finishes. We've got output. Um, we have a color temperature, all this good stuff. So everything it needs to create an illuminance render is in there, uh, but we don't have any electrical data. Now, if we go to the MEP version, we'll see that there's a bit of a difference there. So what I'm going to do now is load another lighting fixture. Click Load Family, uh, back to Lighting. And this time I'm going to load an MEP version, internal. And somewhere in here, I should have what I'm looking for. So near enough, the same thing. There we go. Uh, pendant light, linear, uh, one lamp. So double click on that. And currently, it's not going in. OK. so. You'll see now it'll allow me to stick it on the wall. And the reason for that is up here. Um, it says currently place on vertical face or place on face. So if I place on face here, it will now go into my ceiling for me. So I click on that and in it goes. Now you'll see there, um, first of all, there's a bit more information associated with this. I'll just pull that down so you have a look. So it says lighting dwelling unit, 40 VA, 230 volt, single phase. Um, we now have some electrical data. So if I click on this again, we can see it all here. There's our 230 volt single phase uh, 40 VA there. Um, so we now have electrical data as opposed to this one, which doesn't. So that's the first thing to watch for. The other thing you'll notice here is we have an option to power it up and to switch it here. On this guy, no such options exist. So what we need to do now is have a look at the next set of functionality, which is on the switches themselves. So. Um, to do that, I'm going to have a look at the floor plans again. So they're going to here. Now, this was based, this whole model was based around an architectural template. So what I'm going to do now is switch over from the discipline over here, which says architectural, I'm going to switch this over to electrical. And you'll see now that it grays out all of these features and it is showing up my lamps. But this guy here, again, is the architectural one with no electrical data. And this guy here is the proper MEP version. So just bear that in mind. Um, it will filter them out for you, but it does leave the architectural ones in place. So we're going to come back to that later. Now, what I need to do next is have a look at switches. So if I click on device here, electrical fixture, it'll say none is loaded. Would I like to load one? Yes, I would. Uh, and in under electrical, if I go to architectural first, under power and terminals, um, somewhere in the bottom here, I have a switch, which is uh, electrical equipment switch, single pole. Okay, that'll do. Um, none of them are saying lighting, so that'll do. Anyway, um, click open on that, and you'll see that that will pop in as we'd expect it to. All right, and indeed, if I have a look at this in a 3D view, so let's pop in a camera, you will see that it's there. And indeed, it is. There it is there. So this is our architectural, this is our MEP light, and that's my architectural switch. Uh, again, no electrical data associated with it. Now, we do have some load information here, 
but obviously it's not populated and I don't have an option to power this thing up. Um, so this is where what we're going to see happen when we get into the next one which is the MEP version. So this time I'm going to go into my system, device, electrical fixture, load family, uh, electrical, MEP, electrical power, terminals, and in here I have a light switch. Now, if I try and load this, it's going to fail. So if I click open, bang. Um, you must choose family files of electrical fixtures. And you think, well, what's going on here? Uh, it's exactly what I did to get this one in, but it doesn't work this time. And the reason is, if you're going to put in a proper MEP lighting uh, switch, you need to go to lighting here. Not this, this one. So you click on this one, no lighting devices loaded. Would you like to load one? Yes, I would. Electrical, MEP, uh, power, terminals, light switch, and click open. And, well, first of all, it worked. Uh, it's currently going on vertical face, uh, and it'll allow that to go in. But if you look at it, it's currently reading light switch circuit breaker. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Um, and one of the things, well, you can see it, it is there. Um, if you switched into the architectural view, it would disappear on you. Um, it is there, as you can see, but it's only visible in medium or coarse. So just bear that in mind. So I was going to switch back to, I'll switch back to fine, actually. Uh, and I'll change my discipline here back to electrical. So now I can see it there. Um, now, it's a circuit breaker, which is not what I wanted. So what I want to do is I want to swing, change this to a one-way switch. All right, so circuit breaker goes in and just swap it out. And you'll see that you got two ways, three ways, time delays, uh, you got door switches, dimmers, the whole lot, they're all there. So I click on one-way switch and in it goes. And we have a power option on this as well. So that is obviously something that will be of use to us. Now, the next thing to have a look at is, well, if you look at this one here, there's nothing I can do with it. But if I click on this one, um, I can create, well, I can send power to it or I can switch it. So what I'm going to do is put it on a switch system. So I click on switch, uh, and then it'll ask me here, um, well, actually, I'm going to cancel this. First thing I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to come in here to this switch again itself, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, LSW1 for light switch 1 and hit enter. We might want that in a moment. So now that has a name, uh, I'm going to come back in here, hit my switch system, select switch, and I'll grab this guy here. So what I've done is I've gone and connected this light to this switch. And if you click on the switch system there yourself, itself, you can see that it's running a line back from this fixture to that switch which is kind of useful. Um, and if you look over here, you say system selector, switch system, LSW1. So that's the name that I gave it. Now, there's a couple of other things to watch in here. Um, in relation to scheduling, we have two lights in here. Uh, one is real and one is architectural. So we need to keep an eye on this because what will happen is if we schedule this thing out, we get everything. Uh, we'll deal with power systems in another tutorial. So what I'm going to do is quickly schedule this so you can see the kind of issues you'll face. So schedules, schedules and quantities. Um, let's go into lighting fixtures. Uh, double click on this. So I'll just click on OK. Um, let's get family and type. So that's in there. Um, electrical data. And while we're at it, let's get the switch ID and uh, click OK. And when you look at this, what you've actually got is the two luminaires are in there. Now, one has got electrical data and one's connected to the switch. So this one up here is the architectural one. So just bear that in mind. Um, we can swap it out from here if we need to. Uh, let's put in a 1200 there. And it says, can't use this type in this host. So it's throwing an error which you cannot ignore, so you need to cancel that. So just bear in mind, if you start dumping in uh, MEP light fixtures over the architectural ones, they will cause a problem. Um, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to have a look at um, 
what we can do with power and again you know differences between architecture and MEP all right thanks for watching <laughs>